Hey guys, it's Chris with Killer Arcade Games, and I'm back for another installment in the Beat the Boss series. Uh, it's going to be a short series, like I said in the previous video, but I'm going to go through a couple games and just show you guys how to beat the bosses of these fighting games. But I think I actually have a good strategy for beating Motaro and Shao Kahn. Shao Kahn used to be a real pain in the butt for me, personally, until I was playing at the arcade in Austin, Side Arcade. It's one I go to almost every weekend at this point. And I was playing their Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, and I realized I kind of figured out a good way to beat him with Scorpion. I usually beat the game with Smoke. He's just easiest for me to get all the way through. I'm not great at Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, but once again, I find the boss is now a little bit easier than the rest of the roster. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch to Scorpion, which is who I prefer to do this with anyway. Uh, let me pause this and mention his combo. Now, I, you may have to look this combo up, or maybe I'll try to remember to look it up and put it in the description. What I typically do is I believe it's high punch, high punch, high kick, high kick, and then hold back and high kick. Um, I'm going to look it up. If I'm wrong, it's going to be in the description, or I'll try to overlay it here. The, the main thing you want to do against Motaro that I've found is you really want to jump around a lot and kick. So jump and high kick like crazy. If you do land a kick or even don't really land a kick, if you have an opening, rush right up to him using the run button. Rush up to him, start trying to do the combo. He may block it. It's not a big deal if he blocks it. It still chips a little bit of damage off of him. And he's not always going to block it. So you can get in these good combos, immediately start jumping after, and uh, you'll probably be able to kick him again. You'll probably be able to throw another combo on him. Just repeat that. This is not a very foolproof one. It's, there's no way around it. The game's AI wants you to lose, and you're going to lose if it wants you to. But let's see if I can do this and demonstrate it for you guys. I'm going to immediately start jumping. I was close enough to him to try to get him with a combo. There we go. Oh, jump, kick, jump, kick, combo. All you can do, I got him there. Let's see. Oh man, no way. Okay, flawless victory right away. Don't expect that to happen on your first try. This is definitely something you need to work up to learning. Uh, you know, a nice, it's probably an acquired skill, but I can't believe how well it's going. Whoa, he's really not teleporting that much. Normally he teleports all over the place, so I may be getting kind of lucky on this recording. Oh, he got me that time. Sorry, right, I didn't, ooh, didn't expect a double flawless. Oh, nope, I messed it up there. I should have been running instead of hit block at the same time. I think we can still get him. Oh, got him. Okay. All right. So that was fairly easy. Don't expect it to always go that smooth. Uh, while recording this, I did fail one time using smoke, but I don't know combos with smoke that well. Scorpion's combo comes pretty easy to me, so I can do that. Now let's move on to Shao Kahn. All right, so here's my move. What I like to do is round starts, immediately hold back. There's a chance he's going to do a shoulder charge or a flying shoulder charge thing, whatever you want to call it. If he does that and he doesn't make contact, immediately uppercut him. That's very similar to my MK2 strategy. After that, what I like to do is quickly do a teleport, which is quarter circle back high punch. When you do the teleport, it may make contact. Even if it doesn't, he may do a move that launches him either behind you or he may do a move that you just land right in front of him and he doesn't actually hit you. If he doesn't hit you, he immediately go into Scorpion's combo, which is high punch, high punch, high kick, high kick, hold back, and high kick. At least that's how I remember it. If I'm wrong, once again, I'll put it on the screen. Um, you just repeat this process as much as possible. It is not perfect. You're probably still gonna die maybe here and there. You may not. You may get lucky and beat him the first try. I don't know if I will. Let's watch and see. It's not a perfect plan, but it's one of the best ways I've found to beat him. Here we go. Okay, he didn't do anything there. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. He makes that move and he misses sometimes. So whether he does the move or if he does the move, quickly be ready as long as he doesn't hit you, quickly be ready to throw that combo at him. If he does one of those, you can always do this, too. That works pretty well. And uh, anyway, if, 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 he does, if he does get hit and he backs off and doesn't do a move, rush him right away and do the combo. I'm going to try to show that again. Wow, I got lucky on that one. That wasn't supposed to work. <laughs> Just keep hitting him like this repeatedly. Oh, wow. Okay, I got too cocky there. Wow, I'm really getting off my game here. Okay. Oh, he got me, I think, this time. Okay, I don't think this works well if you're cornered or he's cornered, so try to stay out of those corners, by the way. And he may block your combo, but at least you'll chip away some of the damage on him. Oh, occasionally he'll do that and mess the whole thing up. Oh my god. 
Come on, get closer. Oh. Uh oh, he may got he may have me here. We'll see. Bottom line is Khan is very difficult on this game, unfortunately. I'm sure there's some other guys who are better than me uh, who might be able to comment and tell me what they do, but I, I gotta show you what I know, so let's keep trying. Boom, got the uppercut. Get ready for this. Easy enough. Didn't make contact there with the combo, but at least I got some chip damage. I think we're gonna call it that. I think that's what they call it anyway. You gotta confuse the heck out of him, apparently. Oh my god, that was a flawless, so I like that. Let's keep going. Feeling good now, but he's probably gonna trash me here, we'll see. Whoa! We're almost, we're doing pretty good so far, but this can take a turn quickly, like so. I should've just probably speared him on that one. Okay, we're getting close to the corner again, which is not good. Uh-oh, he's in the corner. I gotta back him out and try to get him away from that. Oh, wow, I don't know what happened with that combo. Oh, my God. There it is. Whew, all right, two tries, not terrible. Um, he's just difficult to beat, but if you start to master this, which I learned this, like I said, on my own. I'm sure someone else has showed this before, by the way. I'm not taking credit. I learned this on my own at the arcade, and once I've done that, you can usually beat him with a probably... I don't know, 80% success rate on the first try. All right, I really hope this helped you guys. If it did, if you can actually pull this off, please let me know in the comments. If it really was something that helped you along, I'd greatly appreciate a thumbs up on the video. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more arcade content. Yes, I know these aren't real arcade cabinets, but I am in the process of buying real arcade cabinets also. Uh, these are heavily modded arcade what up cabinets. Now you can still do this on Mortal Kombat the real arcade, you can do this on an arcade one up emulation, you can do this on MAME, you can do this on the Xbox and PlayStation versions that came out a while back. It really doesn't matter because they're all emulating the real arcade hardware. So that said, please subscribe for more content. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video.